Good morning, folks. Yesterday, three professors, a NASA scientist and two NOAA scientists told me the shift had begun in ocean science. They were right. We've got a lot of topics to cover today, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the last 24 hours on the sun brought the southern coronal hole into Earth-facing position. The only eruptive behavior of note happened at the southern departing active region, a small little pop, but noteworthy given the sunspots were decaying beneath it. Meanwhile, the sunspots on the north have crossed a visual threshold within the sunspot cycle. The lead grouping, indeed, now has a proper penumbra around the lead umbral core. Any eruptions will be aimed away from Earth now, but that is a marker amidst the 11-year cycle for sure. Let's ease into the science looking at the 2020 hurricane season. This is just a short clip in the middle of the animation from Goddard SVS. Check out the whole video at the link below. Up next, a new comet discovered. This one is hiding out in the Trojan region, where Jupiter likes to make incomers sit and wait their turn for either entry into the inner system or rejection from the solar system entirely. They saw their computer models put this one as getting tossed into the inner system during an upcoming close pass to the giant planet. In terms of planets around other stars, new work is about the 500th star water hypothesis confirmation as there truly is no way to believe our planet is special from a chemical standpoint. Now folks, you recall yesterday's top story was the record plunging Antarctic ice as the melt surges from below. This 24 year study looked at one of the triggers of an ice age that we have discussed. Top journals in the world all say melting ice is how we get an ice age via a shutdown of the ocean heat transport and a cool freshening of the sea. Here's why those people told me the shift was now. First, that last Antarctic study ended in 2018, but the 2019 and 2020 data confirm the southern continent is dumping out in the exact mechanism described. The ocean heat transport already shutting down, the Gulf Stream and overturning circulation, and even the Kuroshio current all falling. And last but not least, the Beaufort Gyre. The cold, freshwater dump ongoing now is at record levels, but Beaufort has withheld its normal release, making the records now something crazy. And when Beaufort finally does release, it's what Yale had started a frenzy over two years ago, describing it as a cold climate bomb. Today, it's NOAA, Los Alamos, and others, again in the Nature Journals, again showing that this planet is only headed one way, and the more time things get to melt at the poles, the faster will eventually plunge back into the now much overdue glacial stage of the planet. Folks, the true path of the climate, the true forcing of the oceans and the atmosphere, and what the future holds, including the new chapter on disaster. We have less than a hundred textbooks left, then it's PDF only, spaceweathernews.com slash publications. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.